All right, welcome back. So in the last part, we did Demario. Um, we haven't done Clarice yet, but I still want to try and do hers like off, uh, off camera. I guess, uh, technically not technically, but still. Um, so we are going to do Croce or Croce. I I don't know how to pronounce these guys' names. Anyways. Um, there's been a lot of new things added. Um, and one of the new things is the Bone Zone. Um, come over here and say you're Unholy Vespers. So we're gonna do that. So, healing is doubled, recovery, recovering HP damages nearby enemies for the same amount. So we're going to, I guess, get that. Why not? So I'm, I'm played in quite a while, so bear with me if I start getting hit. I'm pretty sure I've said this in pretty much every video that's gone up the last, you know, couple days, but I I was on my trip. Um and I just got back and now I'm starting to try and record again. No. Oh. Away, bone. Boat skeletons. I dig the music. This this entire game has really great music. I mean, obviously, it's all a giant reference to Castlevania, so obviously the music's gonna be great. Uh but still, like, you gotta admire it, right? Um, do we want ebony wings? Uh, sure, why not? So, I forget exactly what this guy's, uh, benefit or lack thereof of benefit. I'm pretty sure this is the guy that essentially has a curse. Uh, so the enemies get harder as you level up and stuff, but I could be wrong on that. Ooh. Hopefully we, you know, don't die two minutes in. That would be bad. Um, let's take my rune tracer. Never go wrong with more Rune Tracer. I'm not really sure how to get more of those, uh, those tarot cards, tarot card things that, um, opened up, uh, in a recent patch. I will say this game is really good at, or the developers are really good at getting new things. Uh, let's get let's go ahead and lock in peach ones just so that we will for sure get them get them both the problem with the little skeletons or the little skulls is they're so hard to see sometimes kind of blend in with the background obviously they're a, they're a different color but they they're about the same size as the the texture or um let's take duplicator problem is i keep getting nicked as i try and like get around enemies um ooh. Take a tract orb, just so that we, yeah, damn it, just so that we're picking up more of the, uh, experience as we go. Could really use some, uh, floor chicken. That would be splendid. I'd very much like floor chicken in my mouth right now. Um, okay. 
unless I eat it through osmosis, which in that case, very well. Um, let's see. Let's take whip. Why not? I, mean, I don't think I've gone whip uh, in a couple runs. Once you upgrade whip a lot, it does get very powerful. Right now, it's not too much. Um, let's take cross. More crosses. You can never have too much Jesus in your life. <laughs> Although, if you're going by uh, Castlevania, the animated uh, anime, um, it's not actually about, like, Jesus with, the uh, vampires and stuff, like, the reason why they hate crosses. Um, if I remember correctly, it's any sort of geometric shape that's, like, held up right in front of their faces, they'll hate. So... Pretty much, um, vampires are just, uh, like, freshmen or sophomore high schoolers, so they both hate geometry, or geometric shapes, you know? These red skeletons are going to be really annoying, aren't they? Okay. So I'm curious, are any do like health drops just not happen in this uh, map? If so, that's a little annoying, but I guess it's fine. Ooh, there's a treasure chest back there. I might need to just take it since I don't really have anything else that can lightning. I don't want lightning ring. Jerk. Alright. Uh, escape. Uh, just a whip. Okay. Fine. Man, not. It, it's fine. It's not really what I wanted. I mean, not necessarily the whip itself, more that it wasn't a, a three slot instead of a, a one slot. I was kind of hoping for a three slot. So I really would like my King's Bible. I think that would make my life a lot easier right now. <laughs> it would make uh, dealing with these projectiles a little less annoying. away from me yeah there must you must not be able to get any chicken in this map because I feel like I would have ran into one at some point I guess I needed um let's keep getting cross I'm trying to keep my last slot open for uh, the King's Bible, if I can get it, because I like, I like the King's Bible. Oh, get away from me. Damn, damn, uh, skulls. Yeah, I didn't think of the word for some reason. Oh, this is going to be bad. Because I'm trying to get around him so I can get up to this. Oh, no. I ran into a projectile. That's disappointing. Okay. Tracked orb would get us more XP easier. Cross might keep us alive longer. Oh, we have full health. Interesting. 
can't remember if this guy starts off with like one extra revive. I think he might. Which makes him pretty nice to have. Problem is, it's hard to like run back towards the towards the experience, which makes you know leveling up really difficult. <laughs> when you constantly have a huge amount of enemies all trying to come at you at once. Ooh, hello, where? Uh, that's not as helpful as I would have liked. Okay. Um, Rune Tracer. The garlic would neutralize any of the uh, projectiles, which is definitely an argument. It wouldn't be very helpful against the melee enemies, though, at this point, because they all have much more. Uh... Okay, I think we take that. Um, okay. Take the armor, because that could help us live longer. Really, like... Oh, no. Oh, no. Get away from me. Alright. Uh... I like playing defensively, though. Um. Also, I noticed that the armor sprite has changed. It's a little larger. I need as much of this XP as possible. Um. Bastard. Don't touch me. <laughs> ah. I, I don't think I have an extra revive. I could be wrong, though. Um. Can we take a tracked orb? We must have picked up a red gem or something. Um, let's see. What do we want? What do we think would benefit us the most? Spellbinder. Unfortunately, these uh, skeletons are starting to get a little faster more dangerous. Okay, stone mask, we don't care about cross, I think is what we want. Hollow heart, King's Bible, back off. Um, take whip.
Not the giant uh, skeleton. These things are hard. It's the little fries that are annoying me the most, I think. Because there's, there's so many things on the screen right now. <laughs> um, Let's get the cross. So that way, if I can ever get up to that chest, maybe I might be able to evolve the cross, which would be very beneficial. Ooh, heck yeah. Nope. What do I need for the cross? We're dead. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no meat whatsoever. No way to heal. I think I'm pretty much posed. No. Uh, oh, we do have another revive. They must have upped the revive so that you get all of your health back. Yeah, I think this must be the guy that starts off with uh, a free revive. Tracer. Come on. Please give me another room tracer. No. I think we take that. Yeah, I definitely don't think this level has any healing items. I'd really like to make it to 15 minutes, because I think there is some benefit to making it to 15 minutes. Alright. If the game could just give me enough experience without... Damn it. Get away from me. Room Tracer, thank you. No! Okay, come on. Give me this. Thank you. Okay. That will help some over okay if I can get another another chest I might be able to save this run We gotta take armor and just hope that we survive. Ooh. 
Oh, oh. Out of my way. Thank you. Okay. I'm thinking of the axe that is evolves into what is a scythe, I believe. Which I think is a much better evolved weapon. Eh. Need faster books. Swords do a lot of damage. The problem is, is there's not enough of them. I... Oh, I have another for five. All right. I'll take it. Oh, God, there's so many. I, I can't see where I'm at. There's so many damn skeletons. And they're so fast, too. These guys definitely look like the skeletons from, uh, in the Castlevania series, like the, um, specifically the ones with the knives that are, like, really fast right now. Um... I want to increase my ebony wings, but I feel like I need to increase the things that are going to keep me alive longer. But I think I'm going to have to just do the ebony wings and hope for the best. Okay. The problem is I need the books to be faster, because they're not keeping these guys away from me very long. So many. Okay. This is not ideal. But we made it past 17 minutes. That's good to see. Probably stay alive long enough to at least make it to maybe 19, maybe 20. Um, I think we need to just keep increasing our offense here. I think that's really the only way we're going to keep ourselves alive, is just keep, uh, killing stuff as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, openings to get through are always in one certain direction, which is never the direction where all the XP is. Oh, no. Well, I made it to 18 minutes. All right, so eh, not the best but, hey, I mean, we made it. We made it to 18, 18 minutes, which is still, you know, halfway through, over halfway through. Um, yeah, it's just a lot going on. So thank you for watching, um, and we'll take a look at what the achievement unlocked, which is unlock hyper mode for four normal stages, which I think unlocks a new area. Um, it's a moon glow, this one. When the moon is red and bright, the remnants of a town swallowed by the sea come back to the surface, bringing mysteries and riches. So in the next part, we will play as Christine. Um... And we'll do, we'll probably do Moon Glow, because why not? Uh, why don't we, t since we have a little bit of time, why don't we take a look at what uh, new achievements there are? 
So survive 15 minutes with Giovanni, 15 minutes with Concetta. Let's see. Find the magic banger. Banger? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Find the find and buy the glass vizard. Find and open the coffin in the inlaid library, which we could probably do. Find and open the coffin in the Gallo Tower. Defeat a total of 3,000 dragon shrimps. Okay, that looks like a dog, but sure. All right, and then reach level 99 with a couple people. Reach minute 31 in the Gallo Tower. And reach level 99 with... Um, yeah, Got a lot of replays, banishes, and all of those fun things. All the Gaddy Amari? Okay. And evolved the Shadow Pinion. Okay, interesting. All right, so... Um, in the next part, we will again uh, we'll do Christine, which is an interesting setup because you start off with the uh, with the essentially the screen nuke that nukes pretty much everything, or at least has a chance to nuke everything, and the lower evolve the lower level it is, the more likely it will nuke everything even experience which can make it kind of a slow start but uh we'll get to that when we get to that so thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time